Today, troops returning home from war are welcomed with open arms. But during the Vietnam War, they didn't receive the welcome they deserved. As producer Dave Anarino shows us, Fort Campbell decided it was time they did. I voluntarily enlisted, even though I had a full scholarship. I decided my country was more important than me going to college. I brought a platoon picture of what all of us young, good-looking guys looked like back then. It's been uh, 36 years since the last combat units came off the line and came home. When I landed at the uh, San Francisco airport, I was sped on. I was called a baby killer. Well, it hurt everybody's feelings. People were against the war, so they were against us, basically. And I couldn't never understand that. So I went in the men's room, took off my uniform, threw it in a garbage can, and put on civilian clothes to wear the rest of the way home. And all we were doing is a job that we were asked to do. We don't hold it against American people. I was not one of these guys that uh, wore fatigues or wore t-shirts or anything like that after Vietnam. I just figured that was a chapter in my life that was over. You all know that during the Vietnam War, the troops returned home during the course of the war individually. There are many people who never had the opportunity to let them know how they felt. It is therefore my distinct honor to offer you a long overdue welcome home to the United States of America after each of you well and faithfully I didn't get it when I got home, when I got back. I didn't get there. Our troops went through a lot when they came back, and it was undeserved. It truly was. But that's ancient history, and the important thing today is they're being recognized for what they did. They're being welcomed back as patriots and soldiers and men who went and did their duty, and that's what it was all about. It feels good, but it hurts, because there's a lot of guys that should be here that aren't. I lost a lot of friends. The veterans who were not able to be here. I'm sure that uh, they're watching from up above, but the ones who can't receive the thank yous and the applause, that's what hurts. Today we honor these servants of yours. Fill their hearts with the honor they truly deserve and give them the recognition fitting of their service and sacrifice. This is a time for celebration and a time for healing. We want each of you to know how much we love you and how we as modern day veterans of Iraq and Afghanistan have not forgot your sacrifice. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me one more time in thanking these great veterans for their service in Vietnam. It's really nice to see that yesterday's heroes are still being recognized today for their service.